Hi everybody, it's Disney Queen Skelly here, and I did a goof. This isn't a triple feature, it's a double feature. The triple feature is next week. <laughs> So this double feature is for Ferdinand the Bull and the Enchanted Tiki Room. Hope you guys enjoy. Fun facts for Ferdinand the Bull. This was the only Oscar winner for Best Short Subject Cartoon from the 1930s that was not a silly symphony. The parade of bullfighters consists of caricatures of various Disney artists. The caricatures include, in order of appearance, Bill Titla, on horseback, Fred Moore, Art Babbitt, Hamilton Lusk, and Jack Campbell. The matador himself is supposedly patterned after Walt Disney. The little man bringing up the theater carrying the matador's sword is Ward Kimball, the lead animator on the scene. Snow White makes a cameo appearance. She is seen on the stairs and throws the bullfighter the flowers. The working title for this cartoon was The Story of Ferdinand. And those are your fun facts for Ferdinand the Bull. And now you'll be getting fun facts for the Enchanted Tiki Room. It was the first attraction to use audio animatronics. Today, when we think of Disneyland attractions, we immediately think of the use of audio animatronics. This has become such a major component of the experiences and how we experience them. And we don't even remember a time before this case. The Enchanted Tiki Room is actually where it all started. The key distinction is the audio aspect. Animatronics with simple movements were in use, but the birds that were created for this attraction were the first to have long series of complex movements that the movement in sync with the soundtrack for the, for the attraction. That's a lot of animatronics. There are actually 150 different animatronics that are used throughout the attraction. Many of these are birds, and each of these birds have their own movements and are synced perfectly to the soundtrack. The birds vary in their colors, breeds, sizes, etc. To give a true blended blend of different tropical birds you may see out in the wild. You also have the tiki drummers, tiki gods, and other animatronics that are used to complete the entire experience. We almost had a dining location. The original concept for the attraction was that it would be a dining location where the birds would sing and entertain guests while they dined. It was later decided that the logistics to have a complex show like this in full operation while trying to run a successful dinner service wouldn't be very feasible. With that, the plans were adjusted for the restaurant to be changed to, an, to a show attraction. The Sherman Brothers were added again. The iconic title song from the show that goes like this, in the tiki 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 room, was another Sherman Brothers original. These brothers worked directly with Walt Disney on many different songs for movies and attractions, including some of Walt's favorite songs, so it is no surprise that they were behind the title song for this attraction, too. At Disneyland, this was the first building to have air conditioning. The guests in the California heat may have wanted to believe that this was just Disney's way of providing them with a nice break from the heat. But the actual reason why the building was air conditioned was to ensure that the computers and technology that, the, that ran the show didn't overheat. They were cutting edge and very expensive for their time, so protecting them was definitely critical. The break from the heat just also provided an additional benefit to the guest satisfaction. The Tiki Room was put under new management. The Enchanted Tiki Room did have a refurbishment that changed the story for the attraction. When the show was created at Disney World as a replica to the one in Disneyland, it opened at Magic Kingdom as Tropical Serenade. In 1998, the attraction re-emerged as the Enchanted Tiki Room under new management. In this version, Iago from Aladdin and Zazu from The Lion King take over as the new managers for the attraction. The story is that Iago wants to change and revamp the attraction while Zazu expresses concern over angering the gods. Some of the songs were updated to be more current songs too. This change received a mixed review of opinions and how guests felt about the change. From the classic version in 2011, the, the attraction was changed back to the original show and under the name Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. Iago Caught on Fire It is very true that Iago caught on fire during a performance in January 2011. The sprinkler came on and did damage to many of the birds in the process. Iago was reported as being completely ruined in the accident. It seems that this was li likely the catal catalyst 
for changing back to the original version of the attraction, and Disney took the opportunity to, to, opportunity to restore the iconic attraction to its former glory. Maybe the gods finally took their revenge on Iago during the show. I guess we will never know. The other good news is that no guests were harmed during the incident. Walt had a major role in this attraction. Walt was the driver for the attraction and provided a lot of creative input. The attraction was thought up not long after Hawaii had become a state. Walt was extremely interested in anything with a tropical island theme. Even more interestingly, Walt developed the attraction under his own company, under his own company, WED Enterprises, rather than the Walt Disney Company, which owned and operated the rest of Disneyland. Guests were charged an additional 75 cents to see the show when it opened and still became an instant success and immensely popular at the park. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this double feature of fun facts. Tomorrow you guys will be getting fun facts for the Jungle Cruise. Uh, since unfortunately I couldn't find any fun facts for... I'm sorry, I made a mistake. <laughs> so tomorrow you guys are going to be getting a Disneyland Day um, video with my um, outside of the family family. This is hubby, my girl, Harley baby, and her hubby. And then on the 7th, you guys will be getting uh, the Indiana Jones ride fun facts instead of Donald the Hockey Champ, just because unfortunately I could not find any fun facts on that. So I'll see you guys tomorrow at Disneyland if you're able to catch me. But if not, like I said, you guys are going to see my thumbs up in all the videos. And you'll be seeing uh, my girl, my guy, and my girl's guy. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great evening. Good night, little skeletons. I'll see you tomorrow at Disneyland.